But I was going to the gym, guys. I was going to the gym. Here's what I did not like about my gym. I didn't like the locker room scene. Because in the locker room, there's way too many dudes just walking around half naked, totally ripped and shredded. You know those guys with like human anatomy charts? They're just like pectoralis, oblique, transverse abdominis. Kind of like a grocery shelf, just like bagels, tortilla chips, ice cream. Makes me sad. That's why I love stuff that's like so low. I like stuff that's off the grid, like hiking. Because hiking, man, nobody knows where or what time I started or how long I was sitting on a bench. <laughs> The statistical measure of hiking is like, nobody knows what it is. Nobody can pin you down with a stat. You know, it's like, everyone's like, I shot 72, 300 bar. I didn't shoot any five of me. I saw five butterflies. <laughs> and the baby garden snake. Analyze those stats, bro. And uh, those are actually pretty good stats, as you know. I was um, kind of always thinking about trying to lose a few pounds and stuff, and like, people start suggesting intermittent fasting. To me, that's such a huge craze right now, and I never did intermittent fasting, I always did continuous eating, and, uh, <laughs> it's not hard, actually, it's hard. Uh, but here's the thing about intermittent fasting, like, at its most extreme, you only eat in a six hour window every day, and I was like, what do you do with the other 18 hours of the freaking day? Like, humans from that to eat all the time, we know this, they sell snacks at Home Depot. <laughs> Pretty good ones too, you know. I, I was very like late to normal adulthood milestones. I sort of just matured at my own rates. Like this is true. I didn't have a serious girlfriend until I was like around 30. And uh, I got married and had a kid well into my 40s. And now I'm thinking I'm gonna buy a house at 85. <laughs> and I'm telling you, if I get like a 30 year fixed rate and it's a good payment, I'm gonna live to 150, okay? <laughs> I'm not digging my credit score, okay? There's no way. Sometimes I get life advice from, uh, from rich people, and uh, I love how they think that I can use it. <laughs> you know? It's like, hey man, uh, you should fly first class. Yeah, come on, fly first class. Yeah, it's uh, 1500 bucks, but it's worth it. I'm like, dude, what? what do you dude, if it was an option, I would go on the overhead bin, okay? <laughs> talking about, you know? You get a free glass of champagne, I'll have a beer in this annex in the terminal. I'm going to go. <laughs> Rich people these days have got to tell you about their kids' private schools that actually cost 40 grand. And I'm talking little kids' schools cost 40 grand. And I'm like, your kid is not going to stand out at that school. My kid goes to public school. He spells pterodactyl and he's class president. <laughs> But, uh, I was, you know, it's actually, it's really kind of good to get married older in life because you don't have the energy to divorce, okay? <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously, I'm like, no, I'm not filling the paperwork and finding apartments. <laughs> yeah, we'll work this shit out. <laughs> no, we're going to repress our resentment like Americans do. <laughs> But it's weird being an older uh, dad, older well, dad. It's cool, like I'd be down at the park, okay, with my kid, and I'd see the 20-something dad over here, the kid at the same age as my kid. And I'm looking, and the 20-something dad is on a skateboard, and he's on, using TikTok, and he's drinking like a wild berry monster energy drink. You know? From where I'm standing, that's two unattended kids right there. <laughs> I feel like I should yell at them and buy them ice cream, seriously. Uh, as I did, I did uh, mention to you guys, my wife and I do have an item at home that um, spins around and emits noise. It's the um, kid, it's a child. And, uh, not all that long ago, our kid had a formal graduation ceremony from preschool. Preschool, four and five, it's not even school. It has pre in front of it. It's before school, four and five. They had a graduation, they had caps and gowns, they had real diplomas, they played prom and circumstance. At my first ever graduation, some of the kids had beards and criminal records. <laughs> a few of them had kids. And you know what you didn't hear at my graduation? You didn't hear, why are we all dressed as Batman? You know, or uh, the auditorium is eating boogers. You know, that was not a thing. I think we need to stop making kids think that as you get older, okay, that people are, society's gonna celebrate every achievements and everything you do, because they're not. Yeah, thank you, thank you. You have to self-validate, you have to be like, all right, man, I'm gonna do whatever, I did something. Because this is true. 
I came in third. I placed in a comedy contest, which is really not easy. And I won a plate of french fries. <laughs> I don't really okay French fries, you know. That is low value and high carbs, okay? That is like two kicks in the balls. Let's <laughs> tell you guys this. Um, there was, I like pop music, and there was this, uh, this hit song by Ed Sheeran. You guys know Ed Sheeran? The adorable little English popster. And I stopped and listened to the chorus lyrics, where all of a sudden it's like, oh, is anyone listening to this? Because it's really kind of interesting. It's like, in the chorus, he's singing, oh, be loving you until we're 70. He's singing to his lady, I'm gonna be loving you, but not a day after 70, okay? <laughs> you hit 7 0, it's happy birthday, get out, bitch, okay? <laughs> Fucking, I mean, I could not sing that to my wife, you know what I mean? And have it be okay. That's nuts. And I realized Ed Sheeran was 23 when he wrote that song. He thinks 70 equals dead. <laughs> I'm a middle-aged guy. I think 70 is still within the range of angle. <laughs> Google Kristen Brinkley, she's 67. Seriously, everybody in here would get a bone. Like, you're not joking, okay? Like, hot 70 is becoming a thing. It's becoming a thing. It's gonna be like, no man, I'm for a lady who's got a social security check and hormone replacement. You know what I'm saying? Thing. I just want to say, Ed Sheeran, if you're here in Off Cabot, back there in the corner, hiding, listening, yeah, this is a good comedy show. What do they say about me? Okay, change the lyrics on the chorus because it's ages. This is not cool. Make it like this. Make it like, I'll be loving you until you're assisted living. 